Hi, so in this video, I thought I would talk about a topic that comes up a lot in denture support groups, and that's foods you can and cannot eat. So two of those things are popcorn and nuts. Now, I don't have any popcorn on hand because the last time I had the idea to do a video, I was in my living room and I was kind of holding my camera like this and I couldn't get the right angle and I gave up. But I ate all the popcorn, so I don't have any popcorn on hand, but I can tell you how I eat popcorn. So with popcorn, the pop the, the pop kernel itself is harmless. As long as you don't have any hard kernels inside that pop kernel, as long as it's not hard the, the inside, the middle, and as long as the husk, the hull, I mean, is not really brittle. So you kind of have to use your tongue to gauge as far as the hull goes. Kind of feel that popcorn when you put it in. I always put a piece of popcorn on my tongue and let it dissolve. That way I can feel how the hull is and I can tell if there is any unpopped kernel part in there. And then I just, you know, just get into a napkin and spit everything out. You don't want to just go willy-nilly and just bite because if you do that there could be something hard lurk, lurking in that popcorn kernel which would be disastrous for your for your denture also with hulls especially if you don't use adhesive a hull could get underneath your denture and get into your gum my six-year-old grandson recently ate popcorn while he was here and he got a hull stuck right at the gum line in between two teeth and we had to use the plastic side of my husband's one of my husband's floss thingies and he had to like pry it out it was a splinter a, a popcorn hull splinter and you could get those if you have loose fitting or dentures or aren't using adhesive so you want to be careful on that part as well. So I always put popcorn, just kind of put like one or two pieces on my tongue and let it dissolve so I can feel if there's any sharp or really hard pieces. Because one of the rules I have found, and that'll lead me to move over to nuts, is that if there's any kind of resistance at all when you're trying to eat something like this, an almond, if there is any resistance, if you cannot fully bite down and chew it without putting a bunch of pressure on it don't stop just stop right then and there I don't care what it is a, a carrot a raw broccoli raw cauliflower whatever it is if you go to take a bite and meet with resistance you put it in and you go and it doesn't want to go anywhere Stop. Just stop. So you need to gauge. If you go to choose something and it cannot, unless you ugh, push down, just don't. Just stop because it will cause issues with your gum. I was not putting, or not with your gum, with your denture. I was not putting any pressure at all while I was holding this in between my dentures. I wasn't even trying to bite down. I want to make that clear. I was not trying to bite, bite down because I know that I cannot eat almonds with my dentures. I can eat almond slivers. I can eat cooked almonds. I will put these in my oatmeal. I will eat Chinese food that have cooked almonds in, in it. But I will not try to eat a raw almond ever. Like, never. Almond slivers, sure. A whole almond, not ever. Now, when it comes to peanuts, you have to just gauge it. Some peanuts can be very hard. Some peanuts are very soft. Now, I can eat walnuts. I can eat pecans. I can eat cashews. Mm. Split, divide, chew. Mm. This is a trick for popcorn, nuts, really anything you eat. The rinse and swish.
And sometimes you might have to use your tongue to kind of move pieces of food, especially out from the back of your dentures, up there in that space, and then down here in between. So I can do cashews, pistachios. They're also soft. Two, divide. I do it by habit now. So soft nuts are fine. Hard nuts, avoid them. You can throw them in something and cook them, but don't try to eat them raw. Just don't. Now, if you want to completely avoid nuts, but you want something that has that texture or if you're really new in this if in this journey and you want something that's easy to chew, these are awesome. And these are chickpeas. They come chocolate covered. These are honey roasted. I think I saw like chili, some sort, I don't know, some fire roasted one. I didn't buy those, but these are honey roasted. They are so easy to chew. Watch. So they are like super, super easy to chew. They give you that crunch. They're not going to hurt your dentures. Divide and chew. It's really something I don't even think about anymore. I just automatically divide and chew. And rinse and swish. And it's that simple. A little bit of chickpea powder kind of went down my throat, tickled it back there. But just be real careful. Remember, resistance, stop. Don't even try it. It's as far as I'm going now. Uh-uh. No pressure. Not doing it. So if you meet with any resistance at all, I don't care what you're eating, stop. It'd be a bagel. Just give it a breast. Just we're done. I just find that if you, because if you try to, Force it. That's just way too much pressure that you're putting on your dentures and you're going to hurt them. So anyway, I hope that helps someone. It took me a few times to do this video because I had a cat that jumped up here a couple of times and was moving um, my camera around. I have it propped up on a Star Wars mug. It's um, BB-8. And he kept <laughs> moving the mug around. So it was like getting a whole view of my living room in my kitchen, which I did not want. That's why I'm sitting where I'm sitting. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go. I hope that helps someone and I'll talk to you later. Bye.